Oh, I just love this page. Hello. It's been crazy here. Um, yesterday, 1,100 new cases in South Carolina. Oh, and yes, Curti, our numbers are going up. And yes, we came home a couple days early. And yes, I could have videoed, but I didn't feel like it. I took a two-day break. Um, and I really don't know what I'm going to do today, except this thing keeps talking to me. And that's the page that I did on paper with stickers. No, I just put jelly paper over it, and then I painted a bunch of, I don't know. I think I'm going to do like a Black Lives Matter, because this is a healing journal from the combination of Black Lives Matter and being told things that I didn't agree with about Black Lives Matter and my opinion of Black Lives Matter. And I am fully, fully, fully aware that Black Lives Matter, and I have fully, fully, fully embraced that thought process my entire life I, I believe but somebody said that if you say all lives matter that you're condoning racism and I think I've said this before um no I don't <laughs> I believe all lives matter I believe we can focus on black lives matter um but as far as taking the names off of buildings, tearing down statues, um, anybody that had to do with anything historical in this country, in the South, probably, if it was about white people, probably had slaves. Is that right? No. Is it wrong to not talk about it? Yes. Does that mean that I don't approve? I, I feel like focusing on one race because I've got a bad rap this entire time. This is not going to sound right. All lives matter. And I don't approve and I don't agree with people saying that because I feel like that, I'm a racist. And I don't know why I even have to say this. I don't. Because I know I don't feel like that. I know I think everybody matters. I know I think Black Lives Matter. I know I was appalled when I first moved to South Carolina and saw things the way people were living. People that are still living. <laughs> In those conditions people treated differently people assuming things because you're black you don't have a brain or anything like that was appalling to me yes it happened here in the south but it was part of i believe in I think blaming another race is not the right way to go. Yes, white people treated white, black people badly in slavery times. Yes, that was appalling. This wasn't the only country to have slaves throughout history. And I think we're... I, I guess I just better shut up. I am... Pro Black Lives Matter. I have always thought people mattered. <laughs> I'm fighting with this tape though. So I'm just going to do a quick thing. Um, I thought I was healing, but apparently I haven't healed enough <laughs> to move out of this book just yet. 
um, or this thought process just yet. Um, I think everybody matters. And I don't think I should feel bad about thinking like that. And I'm just not going to listen. Which they, that's what they say is wrong too. So let's just talk about dance moves. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cartier, I'm enjoying your dance moves. You make me smile at least once a day. Two or three times a day. Because my internet, my Instagram account makes it come up. <laughs> Whatever that algorithm is. So I'm just going to do... something and then journal a little bit I think when you try to take history away the possibilities of not learning from it are there We've had to hide a Christopher Columbus statue. Not hide, but it's in storage. Because people were starting to destroy it. I mean, Christopher Columbus. Columbia, South Carolina. I don't know. I don't think he was ever here. But for some reason, we have a Christopher Columbus statue at our state house. They had to take it up and put it away. Because it was getting destroyed. They're renaming buildings at colleges. I don't know. I'm looking for some more black and white tape. Today is Father's Day in the United States. Second Father's Day without a father and all that entails, which we're okay. I mean, I think we've all come to the conclusion that my sisters and I, that holy moly, during all this virus stuff, we're so glad they're not here. <laughs> my mom would be a nervous wreck. We would be nervous wrecks. It would be awful. Okay, there's a good one. Oh, yes. That's how I feel right there. So we came back from the beach early. Well, not really early. Um, we came back on Thursday. Um, my sister had to work on Friday. She was with us. We could have stayed. She could have stayed, truthfully. But there's a lot of people down at the beach, and the numbers are going up like crazy. And we didn't feel we didn't lay out of the sun ever. Um, we walked on the beach in the mornings collecting shells. My sister is an avid um, shark sharks tooth creek collector, and she finds them real ones. I can't find them. And we did that. We went to a super neat gift shop. Um, in North Carolina, across the border. We just had a good time. We ate at a restaurant one time. It was an outside restaurant, and it was along a river, slash waterway, slash intercoastal waterway, slash river. <laughs> so, it was so cool. We saw cranes and herons and an alligator. I didn't. My sister did. Um... Just, you know. And I could have stayed down there. Maybe I should have. I don't know. But it would have been, you know, hot and staying in place. <gasps> now, are these stickers? I wish they were, but I don't know if they are or not. I 
and I don't speak Chinese or Japanese. I got some used books. I've been looking for um, I don't think these are stickers. I did not, I passed up two children's dictionaries because I have plenty. Um, I think I have four or five and two at the beach. And you're going to hear my stomach growling again. Hopefully you don't. Just looking for certain colors here. Mm. I think that's good. These little things are so cute. We're going to see if there's something black and white in here and call this one done. I only have a couple more days to do in my Hobonichi Techo because mine is the Avec that's split in half. Yeah, because mine always gets so lumpy. Pardon me while my desk falls apart. And it starts again on the 1st of July. I'm going to do a flip through at the end. It's not all filled in. There's gaps and holes in places. But I think I'm going to fill them up with washi tape. Because I have a ton of washi tape. use that one up. I actually am hoarding that. Oh, let's look at one of our new books. <laughs> These were each a dollar. But look at this one. This might be turned into a junk journal. This was made by the Gap, I guess. And it's all portraits. Whoopi Goldberg, whom I love and have always agreed with. Oh, I remember they did a red campaign for HIV in Africa. When was this done, though? I can't remember. Individual. A singular person distinguished from others by a special quality. Cool. The Gap. Um, which started in San Francisco. Thank you very much. I don't know when this was done. Missy Elliott. I just think these pictures are just, portraits are outstanding. Oh, Brooke Shields. Jeremy Irons. I don't know who that is. Jessica Alba. She's gorgeous and smart. Ooh, 
That's a strong woman right there. That may need to go in here. Steve Young. That was a quarterback for the 49ers. <laughs> My stomach is growling. Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson, no matter what you think about him, has a great chiseled face. Ooh, Barry White. Looking for a strong black image. Spike Lee, that's pretty strong. Some of these people, I do not know who they are. Carl Lagerfeld. He always wore black and white. That's cool. Selma Hayek. Oh, he's dead. Luke Perry. Oh, Lenny Kravitz. Ooh, Miles Davis. I love that. Look at those hands. <gasps> I hate to rip one of these up, but I'm going to. And it's not going to fit in my book. How am I going to fit it in my book? I might just make a separate page after this page. I know what I could do. Where's my black stabilo? Oh, right here. It's kind of like a parody. Miles Davis, miles to go, miles to travel, miles. put him right there. Whew. Golly, what a statement that face makes. <laughs> I don't know anything about him except that I liked his music. I don't know if he was a bad person, a good person, if he had issues, if he didn't have issues. I just think that's a great face with great hands. That picture was taken in 1989. Ooh, that was the year Hurricane Hugo came through here. And the earthquake in San Francisco. All right. I'm going to have to trim it down a little bit on that side. Wouldn't it be... It would be cool to have a whole book of black people that I admire as portraits. Or just a portrait book, period, wouldn't it? That's not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> All right, I'm going to glue this. To Lenny Kravitz, sorry. He's kind of out there anyhow. Some of his stuff I agree with, some I don't. Okay, I need to make it really tight on this corner and trim off the rest. So I got um, this portrait book. I got a book about South Carolina, like a pictorial coffee book, which I've been looking for because I would love to turn that into kind of like a um, junk journal and an ode similar to this, but similar to, to an ode to South Carolina since I've been here longer than I've been anywhere in my entire life. Oh, man. Which blows my mind.
we ate at this place Wednesday night. Yeah. It was on the Intercoastal Waterway. It was outside. It was called Shabby. Uh, what was it called? Shabby. It was on um, Cafe 383. Mile marker 383 on the Intercoastal Waterway. It was great. Oh my goodness, we saw this dog who was called a, oh dear. That's not what he was called. Um, some kind of, oh. Mastiff. Oh. I'm gonna put miles to go. M. Miles Davis. I just like that. Those are my statements. It was, <clears throat> you know, a bull mastiff. How big those dogs are. This was a breed of mastiff. I can't remember what it, which one it was. It was three years old. He weighed 150 pounds. His name was Dino, but he had the biggest head. His head was bigger than my entire dog, which isn't saying much. And his jowls had to, I mean, his jowls were uh, this big. And he had layers and layers of them. I love that. I'm going to call that a day. Anyhow, we got to pet him. He was so sweet. And his owner said, he was barking at um, somebody coming up in a dinghy off their boat because you could like dock your boat out in the waterway and ride in on a dinghy to the restaurant and he was barking at somebody coming in because they had a dog on their boat and I said how can he even see because his eyes were so covered in layers and layers of eyelids and they said seeing is not one of his strong suits <laughs> but I mean he loves the attention that he gets. They said he loves being petted. He he it, he was great. They had towels, two hand towels to dry up his drool when he came around people so that he didn't drool all over them. He was in fact, if I try, I took a picture of him if I remember, I'll try to put it at the end of this. So, great statements. Miles Davis and Miles to go and Black Lives Do Matter. I, that's perfect. Perfect. I'm back in the groove. Sort of. Not really. Um, and we shall move on.